Getty Benjamin Netanyahu met with Emmanuel Macron today in Paris for talks about the Iran nuclear deal Mr. Netanyahu has continuously lashed out at the 2015 Iran nuclear deal, and has embarked on a three-day trip around Europe to lobby support against the agreement. On Tuesday, Mr. Netanyahu met French President Emmanuel Macron in Paris for talks, in a bid to convince European signatories, Britain, France and Germany, to pull out of the 2015 Iran nuclear deal. Mr. Netanyahu is set to arrive in the UK on Wednesday for a similar discussion with Theresa May to garner support against the Iran nuclear deal, which he strongly opposes. According to the deal, Tehran has promised to curb its nuclear advancements in exchange for lifted economic sanctions to prevent Iran from upgrading its nuclear arsenal. Mr. Netanyahu has hit out at Iran's government, declaring the country used its lifted sanctions to trick Europe and built its financial reserves before beginning to develop its nuclear capabilities. The Israeli Prime Minister declared in a video statement on Twitter, the day before yesterday Ayatollah Khamenei, the ruler of Iran, declared his intention to destroy the state of Israel. Yesterday he explained how he would do this, with the unrestricted enrichment of uranium in order to produce an arsenal of nuclear bombs. We are not surprised. We will not allow Iran to obtain nuclear weapons. On Sunday, Supreme Leader of Iran Saeed Ali Hosseini Khamenei tweeted a statement about Israel referring to them as a malignant cancerous tumor, in what appeared to be an old quote from Iran's top leader. The following day, Mr. Khamenei declared Tehran's preparations to increase uranium enrichment capacity if the 2015 Iran nuclear deal fell apart, following U.S. withdrawal from the agreement. European members have been scrambling to salvage the 2015 Iran nuclear deal as Tehran is set to increase its uranium enrichment capacity. The head of Iran's atomic agency declared plans to develop infrastructure to build advanced centrifuges at the Natanz facility, which was announced to the UN nuclear watchdog today. Getty Amar Netanyahu had also met Angela Merkel in a bid to urge European states to pull out of the deal. The European states, UK, France and Germany, are trying to ring fence trade with Iran against US-imposed sanctions to prevent Iran from pulling out of the nuclear deal. However, officials are struggling to persuade firms to stay in Iran or create financial instruments to enable them to remain. A Western official said, if Iran does not get the financial guarantees and oil and access to the financial system, then I don't see Iran sticking to the deal because the pressure from hardliners is only increasing, it is quite possible they will resume enrichment capacity and research and development of advanced centrifuges to show the Europeans and the world that they are serious, French officials said Macron would tell Mr. Netanyahu that Iran's threats to increase uranium enrichment pinpointed the need to keep the Iran nuclear deal, in order to prevent Iran from developing its nuclear arsenal.